Dominic Crossan counteracts this issue that uh, what what um, N.T. Wright is saying and brings the debate about interpretation of the resurrection whether it is literal or symbolic and time and time again Dominic Crossan brings the point and says well it doesn't matter whether the resurrection is literal or whether it is symbolic for Dominic Crossan what matters is what do we do with it what do we do with the resurrection whatever your position is what do you do with it how does it work out in practice for Dominic Crossan the political and social implications of the resurrection are absolutely paramount and he wants to know what's the cash value of your particular belief N.T. Wright then comes in and corrects Dominic Crossan and says well actually I can get you where you want to go but I think you will get I can get you where you want to go better if you take a literal view of the resurrection uh, Dominic Crossan doesn't agree with that but that's the kind of discussion uh, that they had There was a discussion about the nature of the body in Pauline theology uh, in the debate um, where N.T. Wright makes the point that the modern scholarship has generally emphasized that when Paul is on about the body it's generally about the psyche and the whole person and he right made the emphasis that that's just a misconception of of uh, Pauline theology that there are undertones of a resurrection of physicality uh, in Pauline theology So, for, NT, uh, for Dominic Crossan, the political situation of first century Judaism, about how it played out, Christianity played out, in terms of its, re it, its relationship to Rome, because there was a, a contrast made, I think also by N.T. Wright, between Caesar, who was seen as God, Caesar's kingdom, Caesar's power, and Dominic Crossan and N.T. Wright, I think, both made the point.